In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can upload videos to YouTube, both from desktop or laptop or your mobile phone device. So the whole process is actually pretty easy and straightforward. But if this is your first time uploading a video to YouTube, you might be left wondering, how am I supposed to do all of this, right? So that is what today's video is all about. Let's get to it. We'll start with the desktop version. So we're on the YouTube homepage. Simply go to youtube.com and make sure that you are logged in with the YouTube channel that you want to upload your video to. Then at the top right, you see this little plus icon that when you hover over it, it says create. That's what we're going to click and it will give you a couple of different options. So of course it has upload video, go live and then create a post. And for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to upload a video. So go ahead and click on that button. This will take you to your YouTube studio. So the back end of your YouTube channel, and it will allow you to upload one or multiple videos at the same time. So you can either just drag and drop your video on there like that, or you click on the button that says select files. And this will open up your finder. If you are on Mac, if you're on PC, again, it will open up your documents, simply navigate to the correct folder that holds the video that you want to upload. And then click on the video, click on open, and this will now start uploading to your YouTube channel. And as you can see, while it is uploading, YouTube already gives us the opportunity to fill out the title and the description, etc. Now, my screen might look a little bit different than yours simply because I have a couple of apps installed to help me optimize my videos for YouTube search results, such as TubeBuddy and vidIQ. If you don't have that, don't worry, you can still do this regardless. So over here, it asks, what's the title of your video? So simply type in your title. And for me, I'm simply going to pull up the information that I already prepped on this. I have another video on the channel that shows you how to optimize your YouTube videos so that they show up in the YouTube search results, but we're not going to dive into that in today's tutorial. So we'll make sure to link it somewhere up here so that you can go and take a look at that as well. If that is of interest to you. So I've now copy pasted the title in here down below. It asks you for the description of your video. So simply type what your video is about so that it is clear to both YouTube and the viewer what they can expect from your video. As you can see, we already have a bunch of information preloaded in this description. Again, this is a setting that we have turned on on our channel so that every video automatically has all of these links at the bottom half of the description. And then we simply paste our new description at in the top half. So let me just do that. We copy it, head back over, and then we paste this. All right, next we scroll down and now it is asking us to upload a thumbnail. So you simply click, if you want to upload a custom thumbnail, which I do recommend, you click on this button. If you do not have a custom thumbnail, of course, you can also select one of the images that YouTube has auto generated. Again, the thumbnail is super important. So I do recommend that you upload a custom one, simply click the button and then select the image over here. And you can see that that now has loaded as the thumbnail for this video. Let's just give it a second. And then it will also show up here as the cover. Then if we scroll a little bit further, it's going to ask us, do you want to add this video to a playlist? for the purpose of YouTube SEO and ranking your videos in the search results. That is something that you want to do. If you just want to upload a video for fun, of course, you can skip this step. I'm just going to go in here and I am going to select complete CapCut tutorial, free video editing tools. Then it asks for the audience. And this is something new. It got introduced a couple of years ago where YouTube also has YouTube kids. And so it's basically asking you, Hey, has this video been made for kids? The question truly is, has this video specifically been made for kids? Is this kids content? If not simply select, no, it's not made for kids. So it doesn't necessarily mean like, Oh, it needs to be 18 plus. It means if it's not a kid's show, a video that is aimed at children, then click no, it's not made for kids. If your video contains a paid promotion, this is where you would select that. 
and then it asks for chapters. If you want to allow YouTube to automatically add chapters to the video, check this allow automatic places that is fine then it asks for the tags this is another opportunity for you to tell youtube what your video is about again if you are uploading just for fun you want to share it with some friends don't bother with this if you are uploading because you want your videos to rank in the search results and get shown on the home page you want to spend some time crafting these tags or keywords that you give youtube Again, the full tutorial on how to do that will be linked at the top of this video somewhere. So I'm just gonna head over here again and I'm gonna select all of these tags that we pre-researched and we're gonna paste it in here. There we go. These things that you see here is because I have TubeBuddy and vidIQ installed. If you don't see this, that is completely okay. Then the language and captions. You want to select the language that you recorded your video in. So for me, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go and select English. The recording date and location is particularly interesting if, for example, you're recording travel vlogs or you're in real estate and you really want YouTube to know that your video was, for example, shot in Boca Raton or you were in Thailand or another place because that way your video can also rank for specific locations. For me, I'm going to leave it as it is because it doesn't really matter that I shot a CapCut tutorial in Belgium. Then we scroll down. You can leave this as is. The short sampling basically just allows people to use your content to create shorts with your content. If you do not want that, you can uncheck this. Then the category will depend on what your video is about. I'm going to leave it at education. We go back and forth between education and how to and style because it's not completely clear to me whether or not education is official education or I am teaching someone something on YouTube. Let's switch it to how to in style and then hold potentially inappropriate comments for review. That's what I like to do and then show how many viewers like this video. I like to just be transparent and show people how many likes we've gotten. And as you can see in the meantime, our thumbnail has loaded. Then we're going to click on next. And over here, it's going to ask you, do you want to add subtitles, an end screen or cards? We normally don't add subtitles to our videos. You, of course, can. I'm going to skip that step in this tutorial. The end screen, I'm going to show you in a second. You click on add. The end screen is basically the final 15, 20 seconds of a video. You can overlay more of your videos and a subscribe button. And as you can see over here, my editor has left some room for me to actually add in an end screen. Now I can simply click import from the latest video, but for the sake of this tutorial, I want to show you the options that you have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little plus button at the top. It says add an element. I want to add a video to my end screen. And then you can choose between, do you want the most recent upload, the best for the viewer, or do you want to choose a specific video? Sometimes you can get away with, oh, my most recent upload and then best for viewer. In other cases, you want to select a specific video that is related to the one that your viewer just saw, because that will increase your click through rate and the amount of people watching more of your videos. So click on choose a specific video. It will open up all of your previously uploaded videos. And so for me, I'm going to select how to do a zoom in effect on CapCut. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to drag this video card to the point where I wanted to start, which is here. I don't know why YouTube does this. Recently, I've had this happen where all of a sudden your screen turns a little bit dark. I don't know how to fix this yet unless you just reload the page, but it's still functional. So we're just going to keep going. Then we're going to select another element. I'm going to add a playlist and I want my complete CapCut tutorial in there as well. I'm going to drag it again to the position where I want it to start. And then you can just drag these elements on the screen where you want them to be. So maybe we'll do it like this. And then I'm going to add one more element and I'm going to ask people to subscribe, mm -mm. show the hover card outline. That's fine. I'm going to drag it to be center. And then again, over here, I just want this subscribe button to start as soon as this empty space starts on my video, right? I don't want it to overlay on the actual tutorial and we are done. Then we're going to click save. 
All right, and then we're gonna add one card or multiple cards if you want to. A card is that little icon at the top of the video, that little information icon where you can link other videos. Let's say you have a tutorial and during the tutorial you say, I've made another video on this. Let's, I will link it at the top of this video. That's where you would add a card. So for me, I'm just gonna go like this a little bit further along in the video and I'm gonna add my CapCut playlist. There we go. And again, as you can see, all of a sudden, YouTube turns a little bit darker. I don't know why it does that. We'll keep it like this. Then we'll click Save. There we go. And then again, we click on Next. And this is where YouTube checks whether or not, for example, you have copyright issues or you're using footage that is not free, of, free to use, etc. In our case, it says no issues found, perfect. Let's move on to the next step. And now it is asking us, when do you wanna publish this? Or do you wanna keep it private? Do you wanna schedule this? For me, I'm just gonna post it immediately. So for me, I would say, I wanna make this public instantly, right? So save or publish and then public. If you're like, I don't actually wanna share this with anyone, you would select private. If you want to keep it as unlisted, unlisted means it's on YouTube, but only people with a direct video link can watch this video. So that's the difference between unlisted and private. Private is just like you're the only person that can see it. Unlisted is it's on YouTube, but only for people with a direct link. And then public, of course, means everyone can see it, which is what I'm going to select. If you want to schedule your video, you click on this button and then you select the date and the time that you want your video to become public. So let's say that I wanna do that for tomorrow and then I can also click set as premiere and this will show the video on my channel with a countdown to as to when it will become public, as to when it will go live, right? So that's how you would do that in here. For me, again, I'm just gonna go save or publish and then I'm gonna click public and then we're gonna click on publish. And it says video published. It has all of the information. And then if you want to go to it, you have the video link that you can click and that will take you directly to that video. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to do it from your mobile phone, whether that's Android or an iPhone, both should work fine. I do want to mention already that you will not have all of the options on your mobile phone device as you would on desktop. So my personal favorite is to do it on desktop. If for some reason you want to do it via your phone, that of course is possible. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So when you open up the YouTube App. again make sure that you're logged in to the right channel the channel that you want to post your video to and then simply click the little plus button at the bottom in the middle so let's click that and then we're gonna click upload a video this is gonna open up all of the videos that we have on our phone so simply select the one that you want And I went through that really fast because otherwise the audio starts playing really loudly. So then at the top left corner, you see a little image with a plus sign. This is where we're gonna upload our thumbnail. So click on that button and it's gonna open up all of your images now. So select the thumbnail that you wanna upload, click select again. And then it's basically the same information as we uploaded on desktop minus a few functionalities. So they're asking for a title. Then I'm going to input my title. There we go. Then if you want to add the description, simply click on the add description button. That's going to open up the description. You can type your description and then go back. As you can see, we do not have functionality for tags. That's something that you can only add on desktop. Visibility is the same, so it's gonna ask you, do you wanna have it private, unlisted, public, or do you wanna schedule it for later? Again, simply click on it and it will open up those options for you. Then the audience, if your content is not specifically made for kids, again, just check the no, it's not made for kids box. Then you can add in the location, you can add playlists, again, the same as you would on desktop. So I'm gonna click complete CapCut tutorial. And then it's asking you if you wanna hold potentially inappropriate comments. Again, you can make your choice. Now, as you can see, then immediately it asks me to upload 
that video. This means that I'm not able to add an end screen or cards or tags or any of the other options that we saw on desktop. So I am not going to click on upload right now because then I would be doubly uploading the same video. But if you click on upload right here, it will start uploading the video to your channel with the settings that you have selected. And that's it. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If so, give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. And then in the meantime, check out some of our other videos right over here.